Once upon a time, there lived a girl named Amina. Amina was a palace maiden for a very powerful king who was extremely popular and influential. She was deaf, but despite her disability, Amina outperformed other maidens in the palace, winning the heart of the queen who requested for Amina to be her personal maid. What this meant was that only Amina served the queen and the queen liked and listened to her. Because of Amina, the queen hired a personal translator who made communication between the queen and Amina easy. Amina had the queen's ear and this stirred up jealousy in the hearts of several palace maidens, especially Zainab, who wondered why a deaf maid always outperformed her. One day, the queen got information that there was a plan by a certain group of people in the palace to harm the royal household. The queen sent for Amina to seek her counsel on the matter. After Amina's meeting with the queen, Zainab and two other palace maidens approached the queen's interpreter to know what the queen had discussed with Amina. When the interpreter told the maidens of the alleged plan of a certain group in the palace to harm the royal household, the maidens then decided to cook up a plan against Amina. One night, when the whole palace had gone to sleep, Zainab and two other maidens snuck into Amina's room and took one of Amina's dresses and a pair of shoes. Zainab wore Amina's dress and snuck into the chamber of the princess with a knife. Zainab purposely made a loud sound so that the princess would wake up. Immediately she noticed that the princess had seen her. She ran out of the princess's room, leaving one leg of Amina's shoe behind. The screams from the princess's chamber alerted everyone in the palace, who woke up and rushed to the princess's chamber to see what was happening. On getting there, the princess began to narrate how Amina tried to kill her and everyone was in shock. The king then summoned Amina and the palace interpreter to appear before him as he wanted to get to the root of the accusation. The king asked Amina why she wanted to kill the princess but Amina was in complete shock as she did not know what was going on. The king then sent for his daughter, the princess, to narrate what had happened that night. The princess came forward and stated that Amina tried to kill her with a knife in her sleep. The king then asked how the princess knew it was Amina and the princess showed the king one leg of Amina's shoe that was left behind in her room. She also stated that she caught sight of Amina's dress while she was trying to escape from her room. Amina began to cry that she was innocent but no one seemed to believe her. The king then ordered his guards to lock Amina up in the palace cell. Amina was locked up in the cell for months and all Amina did was cry as she could not believe that she was being accused and punished for something she knew nothing about. Amina prayed and wished that the truth would be brought to light as she knew she was innocent of all the accusations. One evening, this was many months later, the king's guards brought Amina out of the palace cell and took her before the king. Amina wondered why the king had sent for her after all these months. It happened that on that fateful night, when the princess was attacked, a palace maiden overheard the other maidens plotting to frame Amina. The maiden was extremely scared 
to reveal this plot to the king or anyone in the palace. So she kept it to herself. One night, this was many months later, whilst the maiden was asleep, she had a dream where she saw a very bright light and from within the light emerged an old woman who told her not to allow the innocent to keep suffering. The old woman also told the maiden to tell the king that the time had come for what needed to be done. When the palace maiden woke up, she was filled with so much fear. The old woman's message kept ringing in her head, so she approached the king and told him all that had happened that night. The king, on hearing what happened, ordered for the immediate release of Amina as he summoned Zainab and her accomplices to appear before him. The king was so furious to hear that an innocent girl had been locked up for months, so he ordered that Zainab and her accomplices be locked up in the palace cell for years. When the palace maiden told the king what the old woman had said in her dream, that the time had come for what needed to be done, tears rolled down the king's cheeks as he had dreaded this day most of his life. The king then called his chief priest to consult with the gods on what to do, and the chief priest also told the king that the time had come for what needed to be done. This was the confirmation the king needed, so he called a meeting of his royal household and told them that he had something very important to tell them all. The king also requested that Amina be present in the meeting with her interpreter. Once everyone was present, the king began to tell them something that happened many years ago. He said, When I was a very young king, I met a very beautiful woman I loved. We planned our lives together until a tragic incident took her life. The woman had a child for me and I was so young then. Something seemed to be wrong with the child's hearing. So I consulted my uncle who told me some things that made me to take a certain decision that I have regretted all my life. My first child was born deaf and my uncle told me that anyone born with a disability can never be given royal recognition. He told me to send my child away as it was an abomination for a king to have a child he considered incomplete. I refused my uncle's counsel and hid my child for years. The child was under the care of one of my palace maidens who I told to pretend to be the mother of the child. She did this for years till she died. My child grew up as the daughter of a maid and continued to serve in the palace. This was the only way I could keep my daughter within the four walls of the palace as I could not stand chasing my flesh and blood away. After several years, I did all I could to break such a cake law from our land. But what I could not bring myself to do was to tell my child who she really was, a princess and my first daughter. I have kept this secret all these years to protect my child, the king said, as he announced that Amina was his daughter. Everyone was in shock, including Amina, who never knew that she was a princess all along. The king apologized to his daughter Amina and immediately bestowed upon her the title of a princess. The royal household was still in complete shock. But as time went on, everyone adjusted to their new reality, including the queen who had always loved Amina and the maidens in the palace who could not believe that Amina was now a princess. Amina lived the remaining of her days as a princess and the people loved and respected her because of her lovely nature. The lesson to be learned from this story is that we should not look down on people. 
Treat everyone with respect because you never know what tomorrow holds. Quit being envious of people as envy breeds hatred, which is an extremely little poison for the soul. I hope you enjoyed the story. Please like, subscribe and leave a comment. It helps us grow our channel. I'll see you in our next story. Bye.